crazy, fun, and Italian are words which best sum up the meaning of Pazzo, the spirit of this new restaurant. David, you're no stranger to the top billing family. What have you been up to since the last time we saw you? I did my book, Mile 8, which was uh, probably one of the most special things I've ever done in my life. And uh, so that took a large part of the year. And then, um, and then this, <laughs> Saint, you know, it was something that, uh, that we've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, while we were sort of traveling around New York um, to have a look at what we wanted to do for Marble, we stumbled across, across this restaurant that we really liked and the, and the concept that we really liked, which essentially was pizza and champagne. Um, we'd, we'd love to do that. And, and that's how Saints sort of came about. It's actually been something that's been brewing for a long time, almost before Marble opened. And it's all about sight and finding a good spot. And, uh, and yeah, luckily we did. Chef's business partner in Saint is Gary Kiriakou. Gary, you're the other mastermind behind Saint. You really have created something quite special. So Marble was our first restaurant, but there was always a need for something else in Joburg, something different. So Saint was where young professionals can come in, you know, have a drink, come have a pizza. You know, it's a quick in and out. It's got that Italian flair. So I think we got it on, on the head and I, I'm happy with it. You know, we're really proud of what we've done here with David. These stunning interiors are by Gary's wife and interior designer, Irene Kiriakou. What was the brief that David and Gary gave you? Well, the brief was a crazy Italian restaurant <laughs> in the form of uh, twisting things just a little bit from the ordinary or the uh, expected. My favorite piece is right behind us, and that's the deconstructed sculptural wall. Um, that bar panel is made up of different pieces of a almost a Renaissance um, a figure. And thereon we project beautiful 3D images. We just, we just move and change through, through the evening or through the day. Um, there's some great pieces that I totally love. These feather lamps, we used fantastic local designers to create some beautiful pieces. The reference here is mid-century mixed with, with Italian. The star of the show must be the food. And chef David Higgs has gone for the lighter Neapolitan style of pizza making. Well, this looks like the Ferrari of slices. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally drive this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we making today? What's become one of the favorite things at, uh, at Saint is our, uh, is our pizzas. You know, I wouldn't call Saint an Italian restaurant. It's an Italian inspired restaurant. And um, our pizzas are probably the, what's most uh, authentic about the restaurant. We brought these ovens in from Naples. Um, and essentially what they allow us to do is to make a 60 second pizza. We use a very specific flour, which we bring in as well. And the result is that you get this most incredible leopard skin uh, crust, which, uh, which is really what you're after. But the thing with pizzas needs to be simple, yeah. simplistic. Less ingredients is, is, is better. And the pepperoni is one of my, one of my favorites. So we use a spicy chorizo style sausage. Have a, have a taste. So paper thin. Yeah, yeah. And it has to be, you know, otherwise the flavors are too intense. Contradictory to what people may think, you know, like a pizza is not about a thousand toppings or, or heavy toppings, it's delicate flavors. And, and you can only get delicate flavors when you got this lovely, almost see-through, look at that. Yeah, it's got such a burst of flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David's two most senior chefs visited Milan, Italy to work with the maestros in learning the art of authentic Neapolitan pizza. So the biggest art with these, uh, with these pizzas is, the, is the, the pulling of the dough, and that's why you won't see me doing it. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Dallas and a few of the guys have done it. Do you want to give it a bash? Yeah, I was looking forward to throwing it up in the air, no, but... No, 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 we're not throwing anything in there. So uh, Dallas will cook it, you can, you can take it out of there. All right. While unmistakably Italian, the lighter dough and restrained use of just three to four toppings on a pizza make these noticeably easier to eat. Oh, come on, somebody. Hey. Come on, somebody. What y'all know about <laughs> pizza making, huh? <laughs> Professionalo, <laughs> Italiano, signor. No, that's, that's, that's Italian and Spanish, but hey, we go international. <laughs> that looks amazing. Dallas, David, we did an incredible job. We did indeed. There's another, there's another key thing here. Right. Okay. Oh, We cut slices. our pizzas into, into four pieces only, not eight, eight pieces. And when you eat this pizza, you fold it. Okay. You fold it like a piece of bread, and then you eat it. Okay. Okay. The reason for that is, is that people say, yeah, oh, the pizza is soft on the center. It's not, yeah. it's supposed to be like that. You know what I mean? So you fold it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm, that looks so oh. good. That looks good. Oh. All right, let's go in. The proof is usually in the pudding, but this time it's in the pizza. 
Mm. 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 Simple, eh? Magnifico. <laughs> oh. It wasn't so much in the kitchen that David's love of cooking took hold, but in the great outdoors of Namibia. Fishing with his dad and frying what they'd caught was his introduction to food. And today, David is passing his knowledge on via another favorite pastime. Wow, I can see why you love doing this. I could do this all day. Yeah, it's my, it's my one escape, you know. Kitchen and the restaurants can get a little bit claustrophobic at times, and uh, so it's a nice, it's a nice way to get out and uh, and relax. We didn't just come here because you like mountain biking, but also because it has a significance. I was sponsored an entry to the Epic, and my feeling was that if I was going to get given an entry like that, I need to make sure that I, I do something, you know, uh, to make to make a difference. You know, you can't be given something like that and and not, and not use it for the for the better cause. So I was riding with a friend of mine and uh, we decided to start this food cycle project. And you know, I had big dreams, still have big dreams, but you know, as, as things morph and, and, and change and as time goes on, they, they take a certain form. And that certain form is, has come at Deep Slope Mountain Bike Academy where, where I met all these incredible guys and, and uh, where a lot of them work with me in the kitchen and, and some of them have moved on to other hotels and restaurants. And so yeah, it's a fantastic project and long may it last. Zita Mabasa's career is flying. Where did you meet David? I met David at the uh, Dipsut Mountain Park Academy. Then I used to ride there. And then I used to work in the kitchen where we used to cook for 250 kids. It's where I got my opportunity to talk to David. That can I able to come and work uh, at Marvel restaurant to get more experience. So, and then it's where like everything started there. You inspire so many people and you still have time to write a book. That's why I wanted to ask you to sign this copy of Mile 8. Would you do the honor of signing this book for me? <laughs> Absolutely. Mile 8 is a cookbook and a personal culinary journey from childhood to now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for an amazing day, for showing me around Saints and for introducing me to awesome people and this amazing ride. Now, let's ride off into the sunset like the cowboys that we are. <laughs> the cowboys that we are. Five fingers on my side. <laughs> Attention all foodies. Log on to our Top Billing Facebook page and you stand a chance of winning an autographed copy of David's book.